Okay, welcome back. So now let's look at some examples working with categorical data. Okay, so let's look at a data set here. So it's a random sample of a hundred of the top movies released last year and the genre of movie that they are. Okay, so I've got it in four columns here so it'll fit on the page but you can you can copy and paste that into whatever program you might want to use and create a pie chart All right, so we're gonna look at this over in mini tab so here I've got my data in mini tab okay and we want to start by making a pie chart so let's see what mini tab gives us by default so if I go here to graph pie chart by default I have chart counts of unique values Click. That's good because we actually have the raw data here. So the categorical variable I want to use is genre. Let's see the default option that it gives us. Okay, so there's the there's the default option, and it's fine. I mean, we can we can make sense of it, but I think we can do a little bit better. Okay, so I want it. There's our default. So I want to show you. Let's think about some of the edits we might want to make that we talked about. I'm going to want to create an other category. I'm going to want to add some good labels. And I'm also maybe going to highlight a specific category here. Okay, so let's see how you do all this in mini tab. Now you can do all of these from the original pie chart menu, or if you have a result and you weren't exactly happy with it, just to make some edits, okay, you can double click. It'll bring up a, a larger version. I'm going to double click here on the chart itself. Okay, and we've got some options here. So options, so by default, it says combined slices of less than 0.02%. Um, I noticed here, so let's look at some of these, some of these smaller slices like romance, that's 2%, 1%, 2%. Um, animation here, we have 4%. So I'm just going to choose anything below, let's say, 3%. So we can want a whole number there. Is going to be combined into another category. Okay, that's nice. So you can edit your titles, all this kind of stuff here, whatever you want to call it. So maybe you were interested in this specific category, animation. All right, so I'm going to say, let's explode that slice. So here it'll pop out animation. Another thing that I often want to do is get labels on each of these. You can do it from the first thing. Okay, so I've got genre in here. Let's go to pie options. We wanted other less than 3%. Okay, labels. I want my slices to tell us about the percent. Let's get lines. Let's also name our category here. So I come up with a graph that I'm pretty happy with here. Let me double click. Let me explode our, our animation one that we're interested in. And there we go. Oh, that exploded all of them. So that's kind of cool. Let me explode our animation slice that we're interested in. Okay, and I think there's a pretty good pretty good finished product there. Okay, so those are kind of the basics of a pie chart. Um, again, it just depends on your data, how, what you want to highlight, how you want to do this, but I think this looks pretty good. Let's look at another example of categorical data. Okay, so say we've got here, rather than the raw data, we just have our data summed up in a frequency table. This is actually a relative frequency table. So think about how will this affect our results? Will it make a difference? Well, let's look at this data over in Minitab. When I have the data summed up in a frequency table, when I go to graph, pie chart, okay, I'm not going to choose the default option. I'm going to say chart values from a table. My categorical variable, this is where I choose Kind of the labels for my variable. The label is in this major column. The summary variable is in this percentage column. Okay, that's where I put my frequencies. So let's see what it gives us. Here's our pie chart of majors. And 
Okay, the same can't be said for quantitative data, but for categorical data, whether we have the raw data or just a summary, our plots will look exactly the same. So let's look at some of the same data, but making a bar chart for that data. Okay, so again, let's look at, think about our movies genre example, but we'll be making a bar chart. So let's say graph bar chart. We again have counts of unique values. We're back to the raw data here. Let's just do a simple one. We have some other cool options. But let's just do a simple one for now and see what it gives us by default. And that's fine. When we have a bar chart, it's nice to create our Pareto chart. So in order to make our Pareto chart in Minitab, I take my default graph, double click on it again. And now I'm going to double click on the bars. I'm going to go here to chart options and say decreasing y. Decreasing y is going to give me this. So following these instructions to get my Pareto chart, we get a pretty nice result. Okay, so pie charts versus bar charts, they're both really super easy to make. Um, they both display categorical data. Right? I want to then describe things such as what's my mode, right? what's my variability look like, Okay, so in a graph like this, my mode appears to be action. There's a lot of drama, comedy as well. We have a, a medium level of variability here, I would say, because in some of these, there's, there's not much in these categories. They mostly tend to be in about half the categories. Okay, so, but our mode is pretty obvious. And our level of variability is really relative, right? We kind of need something to, to compare it to. Alright, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.